Hi, my name's Emily and I'm from the Wapiti Regional Library. Thanks for joining me for another Creative Corner. Today's project are these keychains. They can be keychains or you can also swap out the design for a little car hanger. If these seem interesting to you, then stay tuned and I'll show you just what to do. For this craft, there isn't much you'll need for materials. You'll need scissors, yarn, key ring, but it is optional if you don't want to make a key ring and you just want to make a loop with your yarn. Pipe cleaners, and some beads if you'd like to add a bit more personalization. Choose a yarn color for your keychain. Then you're going to choose a pipe cleaner that you don't mind seeing under your yarn. The yarn doesn't have to match the pipe cleaner. Your first step is to wrap the yarn around the pipe cleaner. Begin by making a knot roughly an inch down from the end of the pipe cleaner. Then begin wrapping. You can wrap tight together or farther apart, depending if you want the pipe cleaner to show. Bend the pipe cleaner a bit if you're struggling to wrap the yarn around the pipe cleaner. I had to do this because the pipe cleaner kept on getting in the way. Once you've gotten to the end of the pipe cleaner, roughly an inch from the bottom or end of the pipe cleaner, you'll want to make another knot at the end. You can cut off a bit of the yarn before doing so. This is a point where you can take beads and string them together. Don't forget before you wrap it or else you'll have to unwrap it. Then, once you've got your bead on there, or beads, tie the two pipe cleaner ends together just by wrapping them. Then you'll want to decide what kind of shape you're gonna want. I made a heart, but you can make a star or whatever your creativity comes up with. After you're done that, you're ready to add your keychain. Take a bit of the excess yarn or you can take some more yarn from the ball. Just cut off roughly about 
four inches. You're gonna take that piece of yarn and you're going to want to wrap it around your keychain. Make a little knot. You'll want to have two long ends coming off so that you can tie that into a knot. Or you can put the keychain through your next knot. So either you can keep it as just a plain knot or you could have the knot hold a keychain. If you don't want it to be a keychain, you can have it as a card angle or you can have it as a lanyard piece. Either one. This is a good option if you don't have any keychain rings at home. Hi guys, I hope you guys enjoyed making these yarn keychains and hopefully you guys join me for another Wapiti Regional Library Creative Corner. Bye!